Yep, that's the thing. Yes, that could work. I, I like this vision of yours. Mm -hmm. So you want to mass produce time machines? <laughs> yeah, actually that's my dream. Um, from my childhood, in school, college, I used to do a lot of science projects and I won the awards. And once, when I heard about the time machine, it caught me. I'm into this. And then I started building this time machine. And uh, so basically, I, I want to make this for the going for the mass production. But we'll go on that one. That's a business model. Uh, what do you do? What your dream? What you are just traveling, or what you do? The Jurassic period, I, I, I've always been fascinated. Yes, by. This, yeah. Uh, wouldn't mind being the one man living among the dinosaurs, uh, preferably, preferably the Stegosaurus. I like the Stegosaurus. I don't know what it is about the Stegosaurus that that, that gets me here, but I wouldn't mind seeing the Roman Empire. Mm -hmm. That's another fascinating time period. The Renaissance is another good time period. Because during that time period, there was Leonardo da Vinci, who I'm a big fan of. And I have reason to believe that he came up with the idea for the very first time machine. It was, but if that's not true, if that's only a theory, I wouldn't mind being the guy who put it in Leonardo da Vinci's head mm -hmm. to design the first time machine. I know that I can influence him somehow. And I know that I can, I'm, I'm sure that if I were to say the right words to him and brush up on my Italian, I'm sure I could inspire him the way in a way that could literally change time as we know it. I'm sure that could work. That's uh, good. And I'm glad you, you are talking, and it's not only you, like I have seen tons of people. I have seen like a lot of people, they have dream yes. to go to travel to different, different era, different time zone. And that's what my model, like uh, once we'll get this fixed, and then we'll reproduce, we will do like a seminars and conferences and we'll sell it. Uh, my dream, like one down the line, everybody should have their own time machine. Like how they have like a boat, they have RVs, they go on vacation. So that's how, of course it will be costly, but uh, everybody should have their own time machine. Whenever they have time, they will go, they will travel and come back. Well, that could work, but I, th I think that uh, I, I think it would be a good idea to screen these individuals. If you're going to send anyone back in time, make sure they're not going to ruin the natural time flying, timeline. Or the, it's bad enough I'm here now. See, it's, it's all history. It's all gone. You just can go there, visit, and you can't change. What is done is done. You can't change. You, you can go there, you can enjoy. That's why I want every... It's a, like a small, like it's a personal time machine everybody should have in their own house and uh, of course it will be costly but whoever can afford that's what I am going that's my business model yes and it would be my god but before that we have to fix it you know like uh, we have to fix that well, it, it, it would help to charge only the I mean but it just seems to me that uh, aside from aside from being able to afford it it should be um uh, people who, um, let's see, how could I put this on? I, I don't think any moron should just go through time and make the, make the yeah, time period more right. moronic. But the thing is, see, back to this, let's uh, be realistic. No matter what you are dreaming, I'm dreaming, but we have to fix this. So let's uh, do more research, find out the drawing design, we have to fix it. Yeah, we do. The, yeah, Un unless it, it, it didn't get fixed, we can't do it.